up in this bitch a bunch of killers and humble trappers. I can go to Hollywood to call in this jungle wagon when niggas that are smoking. Volante and her translator, what's your name, sir? Danielle. Danielle. So, she is the WBO 135 pounds women's champion, correct? Very, very, very big fight. So, I'm honestly, I didn't think I would be able to talk to you this week. Because you're from Brazil, it's like you're in Philadelphia. I never thought you would be here. So, this fight right here is going to be for the WBA, IBF, and WBO 135 pound women's title. So, I have many questions for you. But we're going to keep them to four because I got to see you tomorrow at the weigh-in and also at the fight for fight night. So, Katie Taylor is considered, I'm going to say right now, depending on how you look at Clarissa Shields, pound for pound best in the world. But you have quite amount of uh, footage on the internet in regards to fight footage. And it's looking like to me that you're not coming just to lay down. So, so before we go into the other two questions, how do you view Katie Taylor, Katie Taylor as a fighter? And even though you cannot go into details, how do you feel that you are better than her? Oh wait, one minute. Um, we have a lot of Spanish speaking audience. So, but you can translate that they're going to understand. So, I'm going to chop this video up and edit it. So it's gonna look really good. Okay. All right. Cool. Super. Yeah. Say whatever you want. She can say whatever she wants. I'm gonna chop it up, make it look good. Okay. Yeah. Vejo ela como uma grande campeã. Será uma grande luta. Será um grande desafio para as duas atletas, duas campeãs do mundo. Será um grande desafio para as duas atletas, duas campeãs do mundo. Será um grande desafio Okay, so I got a chance to check out um, Delphine Pursuit versus um, Melissa Setville this weekend. Very, very big fight in regards to the women's boxing. I understand that probably you didn't have a chance to check it out. But a lot of fans feel that Delphine Pursuit is more so protected in Belgium. Have you seen any content on her or fight footage? And if so, speak to your Portuguese audience, Brazilian audience, in regards to why you feel that you can beat both her and Katie Taylor. I don't think that she's protected. I think she's a great champion, actually. And that's why she's been so long a world champion. Okay, final question. Women's boxing or females boxing at this point in time is the most televised or broadcast that's ever been in the United States. For example, um, your fights are easily accessible. Like I've been literally able to watch your fights on YouTube, Daily Motion, and overall on the internet. 
So I'm very familiar with your fighting style. So going forward, what do you feel that women or female boxers have to do to keep this momentum going? Because because right now you're tele televised on the zone and the zone has a according to ESPN boxing a 200 million dollar budget a year that means a lot for women's boxing so so I would like your thoughts on that Getting closer to the male boxing as just boxing in South America. Okay, I'm sorry, I got one more question. Um, it's 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 for women's boxing. So what's your what's what's the lowest you can go in weight and what's the highest that you would go for a fight? Right now? Or well well overall, like for example, Cecilia Bracus is 147. You know, and like um Bracus versus Volante overall in the world would be a big fight. Global. So I'm asking how far would she go for, for yeah, but but how but also is one thirty like can she not go no lower than one thirty five? Okay, cool. Isso ainda não foi decidido pela minha equipe, é um caso se sentado com eles e conversado com eles. Você pode baixar o peso? Você pode baixar o peso? Posso baixar o peso? She can't just move up, just as move up, she can move down weight. She has no problem with that. Okay, all right. Good luck on um, Friday night. And um, I. Of course, go ahead. What, whatever you want. Queria mandar um abraço para os brasileiros que estão acompanhando a gente, tanto fora do Brasil como no Brasil, para todos estarem torcendo para sexta-feira Brasil em cima do Rio. E obrigado a todos. Que estão aqui. Thank you, Rose. All right, and thank you, Daniel. All right, thank you. See you on Friday night.